Well, Eric and Nikki, good evening. And keep in mind, it's taken years just to get to this point. And even though these reparations recommendations are now in writing, well, it could still take the legislature and the governor quite some time to determine how to move forward. Applause last week after the California Reparations Task Force completed its 1,100-page final recommendations report, sending it to the legislature and the governor. The document dives into how California reparations should work for descendants of black American slaves and those in the black community who've experienced racism and wrongs. The reparations. The final recommendations report comes following a two-year period featuring more than a dozen task force hearings and thousands of testimonies. When you heard individuals testify, um, I, I could hear my ancestors talking through them. Assemblymember Reggie Jones-Sawyer is one of the members who sat on the task force and helped draft up the final report. I was extremely impressed because it is a definite blueprint of what you need to do when it comes to harms foisted on anybody. The document received a lot of attention for its recommendation that the legislature consider what are described as down payments for descendants of anyone who was a black slave in addition to those in the black community whose ancestors arrived before 1900. If the descendants meet a certain criteria for the wrongs they've endured, coupled with the amount of time they've lived in California, they could be eligible for up to $1.2 million. But it also comes as critics argue down payments constitute government handouts in a state already dealing with a 30 plus billion dollar shortfall. This Inside California Politics Emerson College poll last month found 50 percent of Californians either strongly or somewhat oppose the idea, while more than a quarter support it. Another 22 percent are neutral. Joan Sawyer says cash payments are just one portion of a much larger picture. I've been saying this since day one that reparations is more than cash payments. And it's unfortunate that that has become a linchpin or a, a, a starting point for people who are against it. Um, there's a myriad of other things in reparations. He says that includes calls for increased state subsidized mortgage programs for eligible black Californians, legislation promoting racial pay equity, and a reduction of food deserts described as areas lacking access to fresh food, something he says impacts predominantly black neighborhoods. <laughs> Now that the report is in the hands of lawmakers, Joan Sawyer has a message to his legislative colleagues. That they have their staff and the people who advise them read it so that we can um, we can have a, a very good, robust discussion. Thanks, Governor, how are you? And as for where Governor Gavin Newsom stands on all of this, he spoke about it just before he went out of state last week. We will review it and we'll make a termination and I'll make subsequent statements after I have the chance to read it. And as for the timetable here, well, keep in mind that members of the legislature will actually begin a month-long recess at the end of next week. So that means that they will not even get back to here, Sacramento, until really mid to late August, which really means they won't be able to take up this matter until at least then. And as for Joan Sawyer, well, he says he hopes to see action on this before he is termed out of the legislature in 2024. Reporting live from the state capitol covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.